Hello, Majestic here. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to edit created characters hair. It's requested from David Shimura on YouTube and so we can start right now. Okay, as you all may know, we should convert this to FBX, nothing special. For start, this is one of the created characters here from Xenoverse 2. Okay, we are going go here. Okay, uh, I can show you only how to do this in Blender because I'm making my mods in Blender and I'm not so familiar with 3ds Max or some other editors because I've never done anything in them before. Okay, so rotate your mesh as always. Remove the skeleton. Okay, so we have a created character here from this universe and if we want let's say modify something here we really can't can do it with uh, moving simple vertices or something like that but it's not uh, it's not the easiest way to do for for creative characters here because uh, its dimensions are uh, very very hard to man manipulate with. So there's something that's called Sculpt Mode in Blender for some of you that are not familiar with it. It allows you to 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 make certain shapes with brushes, and I use that for this kind of thing, like uh, creating this kind of meshes. And you have a big variety of brushes here, and uh, for an instance, to make uh, to make some parts of the mesh uh, bigger, you can use F shake hook. You can adjust the size of the brush by pressing an F key. So you see, I'm fine with this, and you can adjust the straight of the brush here or by using a code key F plus uh, shift plus F so you see the one is the strongest straight in the brush the effect that it will have on the material and one is the weakest effect of the brush so I'm going to use I don't know somewhere around 70, uh, 700 okay so let's say it, it works uh, with a mirror, so everything you do on the left side will automatically be reflected on the right side. So let's say I want to do some, I don't know, I want to do some spikes around here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this and make it. I'm going to make those two. Let's say I want them to look like this here and this one here. Okay, so and let's say I want some two spikes here as well. It doesn't look like anything that I would ever do on any of my mods, but just for the case of showcasing, this is how I do this type of things. So you see, you're just moving the brush tool around the vertices on the, on the mesh. So you have some kind of shape right now. I really didn't try to make any particular shape, but I made something. Uh, so if you want to a little bit make this more defined or something like that you can use a so-called uh, seize brush it allows you to, to uh, 
decreased amount of mesh between the vertices. So let's say I want to make this part a little more detailed. I could use this here. Or let's say I want to use it here. I can use it here. Let's say I want to shrink this down, I can use it here, and here as well, and here also, in order to make those fine edges. So I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out, but basically this is the way how to do it. Of course, you can do a lot of other things with brush tool. Uh, such as, I don't know, you can shrink it as well. You don't need to, to make it bigger. So let's say if I want to shrink this one, that's already existing. You can do it like this. Okay, of course, you got to pay attention to, to move each vertices, uh, vertices by vertices, so that mesh will not lose its original shape. But you can do it, I don't know, like this, for example, uh, or something like that. So what you can else use, you can all use a flattening brush that they also use, it uses to, to, to flatten some parts, to make them flat when they are sticking out the mesh, uh, just for the showcase, and you can use uh, smooth, when you have some mesh, uh, mesh ir irregularities, so like this for example, so if you want this to become completely smooth, you can use smooth tool here. Okay, but I but I forgot to mention when you use smooth tool you need to, to to remove all the doubles from the from the all all the double vertices. Uh, the double vertices vertice uh, it's vertices uh, when when two vertices is uh, one one close to each other uh, they are not the same vertices but they but they uh, are close and they basically have no other purpose just to stand in your way okay so if you want to use smooth brush you can do this go into edit mode uh, click hot keys control plus V and choose option remove doubles so it will affect on your mesh appearance a little bit so do it uh, always just on, on, on those parts when you when you want to use smooth or, or, or some other smoothing modifier or brush or something like that. Uh, so we're going to use stop mode once again and let me show you how it works now. So as you, as you may see it doesn't have holes in it. So that's about it about this tutorial. You already know how to export this. I will show you that, and I'm hoping, and I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you, David Shamara, and for everyone else who wanted to learn how to manipulate with this kind of meshes on the faster and more effective way.